Hello, and welcome to the latest edition of Dad Got Box. What's in this box? Well, it is a smart grill, an indoor smart grill. That's something I had never heard of until this company reached out to me and asked me if I would test it. So I said, sure. So heads up, they sent me this smart grill. I don't have to pay for it. I do get to keep it. Ugh. Got a little cooking grate. Behold, the Chef Favor Smart Grill with Air Fryer Combo. I have to say, this looks a lot like my Ninja Smoke Fire Grill, which is an outdoor accessory, but this is supposed to be an indoor accessory, something I can use to grill and cook stuff inside. Not just air fry stuff, like actually grill stuff. All right, let's get a better look at it. We got it out of the box and uh, first issue I have is with this little smart thermometer storage door. It's kind of flimsy and my smart thermometer was jammed in there. I don't know if it was the way it was put in or the tie wrap that was on it, but I felt like I was going to break this door to get it off. I did eventually get it off and the door came out, but I don't know if I would, it doesn't even look like there's enough room in there to comfortably store said smart thermometer and the cord without that becoming a binding issue. I don't think I would actually store the smart thermometer in it. I would probably just store it in a drawer somewhere. That's just me. Nitpicky. Other than that, fit and finish seems about what I would expect for an item of this price point. I believe this is about $200 on Amazon right now. So it's not on your high end, like my Ninja Woodfire Grill is almost 500 bucks, but it's not a $50 air fryer. Just on the outset, I would be satisfied if I received this item and I had paid $200. All of the, the metal grates look well coated they look like they have a nice little nonstick coating on there. I don't see too much on there that would bother me. There is a little piece of the coating that I had to take off there, but after a wash, I think these will be absolutely fine. For grilling, it looks like this part just slots right in there. It says you have to use this basket no matter what on the bottom, and then there's also an air fry basket. Now, Dad has tested a lot of air fryers on this channel. So air frying is not really what I'm that interested in on this one. I'm interested on the indoor grilling feature. So I want to test that. It says we can open hood griddle, and that's what I want to try to do. And to do that, we're going to try to cook a steak. I love steak. I get a, a reason to eat a steak. All right, let's plug this sucker up and see how things go. Have a beep. Anytime you get any kind of accessory, air fryer, cooker, anything, wash the grates, everything that you can wash, wash it. So I'm gonna go do that. Are you enjoying this video? If so, there are a couple easy things you can do to help dad out. Go ahead and subscribe if you aren't. Give this video a like and hit that notification. This is a ribeye steak. Coat it with some avocado oil. Rub it in generously on both sides. Hit it with some sea salt. Be generous. A bunch of cracked black pepper and granulated garlic and granulated onion. Do the same to the other side. Don't forget to pick up spices and everything for the sides and the steak is ready. For this attempt, I decided to use the smart cook feature. So I inserted the probe into the steak, plugged it into the side, and it automatically loads up with presets. You can pick from like chicken, fish, pork, beef, and then you use the left set of arrows to select your temperature. I, of course, went for medium rare and figured, let's give this a try. At 
after preheat, it tells you to add the food. So I went to add the food and it beeps at you with the lid open. Apparently after reading the instruction manual, you can't grill with the lid open in this mode. All right, we'll try the grill feature, which unfortunately you can't use the smart thermometer for. A little annoying. So go ahead and hit grill, hit preheat. And weird thing was, it took six minutes to preheat again, even though it was already hot. And the lack of sizzle kind of concerned me. So I pulled out my laser thermometer and I'm only getting like 325 on this grill surface. That does not seem hot enough. So the steak came back off. Look at it, just not great. After a little more reading, the only mode that seems to work open top is griddle. And it just wasn't getting hot enough when you insert the grill part on the top. I think it's meant to just use the fry pan as the bottom as a griddle, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to use the grill. So I gave up and I went back to the temperature probe preset mode. Not getting the temp I wanted still, but I figured, hey, let's go for it. After about nine minutes, it told me to flip it. I checked it, We're still not getting that hot. So I gave it a quick flip. It's got some grill marks, which are okay, but I want more crust. Double check the temps, and it does look like it is getting close to medium rare. Close the lid. About three minutes later, it said the food was done. So I pulled the steak. looks okay i would much have preferred a better crust pull the probe out give it a slice she looks pretty good i have issues the unit is what i could best call fiddly i wanted to grill open it didn't seem to like grilling open the griddle did not get very hot, only about 325-ish, which is not gonna get you any kind of good sears or grilling. So I figured, you know what, I'll go back to its closed mode where maybe that'll do a little better. So it kinda air fried the steak, which is not what I wanted this unit for. I wanted this to be an indoor grill, not really an indoor grill. It cooked what looks to be a pretty decent medium rare steak using its internal temperature probe. Little bit of uh, overcooking, but not too bad. Little bit of gray band on it. We'll give it a taste at least. Mmm, it's delicious. But I feel like I could have done this in a pan pretty easily and gotten probably a better crust. I don't think the grill function is where this unit might shine, which is disappointing. That's really what I wanted it for. It might end up being a fantastic air fryer. It dehydrates, it does a couple of other things. Let's give it uh, the basic air fryer test and try to air fry some french fries. We'll insert our air fryer basket. Handful of waffle fries. A little seasoning. This is one of the things I don't like. Turning it on, not fun. All right, we'll let this air fry and see how it does. Air fryer, check. Made perfect french fries. I didn't expect anything less. I double checked and this thing is $239 on Amazon. There's a 5% off coupon, which makes it right around a little over 200 bucks. 
Personally, for dad, I have some issues with the item that I think could be improved. The first thing is I don't like this style touch panel display. They are fiddly. They never seem to really work. The buttons are not responsive. And I had a hard time turning on and off the unit and kind of getting it to do what I wanted it to do. I would much prefer like a tactile button or even a knob like I have on my other large air fryer here in the house. The second issue I have is a little bit more important. The unit never really got hot enough. I tried the griddle feature. I tried it open and closed. I tried the smart cook feature. And even on high, like the highest temperature I was getting was around 325. I set this to 375 for the air fry setting and the basket and everything in there, the highest temperature I was getting was around 300, 325. So I don't know what's going on there. Like, I feel like if you want something a high heat, something you're gonna say you can griddle a steak on or griddle some veggies on, I need some high heat and that's not gonna do it. As you saw on the steak, it just didn't have that really nice crust that we'd be looking for on a steak. The steak was delicious and I will give it to them. Their smart thermometer cooked it to perfect medium rare. I can see where this unit might be useful for someone who doesn't have an air fryer or is looking for an air fryer. It's a great air fryer. It's just a little overpriced for an air fryer and it doesn't do the extra indoor grill feature that I really wanted. I wanted that open grill top sizzle going didn't do that for me. So I can't say that I would honestly recommend it for that. If you were just looking for a bigger air fryer that you want to be able to have a large basket you put some big stuff in, um, it would work. I think they have some more work to do. That compartment for where you store the smart thermometer isn't very well engineered, like the smart thermometer gets stuck. And just the unit isn't quite there. It's a great air fryer, but it's just not enough to justify that price, in my opinion. I told you, I was gonna be honest. They gave this to me. They probably won't be super happy with this review, but if they wanna take some criticism and make some improvements, that would be great. Change the buttons, get it to go high heat, make it a little easier to use in the open setting, and I think you got a winner on your hands. So that's gonna do it for today's uh, Dad Got Box review of this smart oven air fryer combo indoor grill. And uh, Dad's going to have a french fry. Dad may uh, like his waffle fries, but Dad doesn't do outros. So that's it. Bye. Crispy.